when I had my car crash, I was a model and I was a dancer. Image was a very important part of my life. Once I became in a chair, I felt like that was totally, completely stripped away from me, everything. My physical body changed. People looked at me differently, more sort of victim-like. And you do lose your sexuality in community. I can't tell you how many times, even still, if I go to a nightclub, like people ask me if I can have an orgasm. You know, like, do they ask able-bodied people that? Because I know lots of able-bodied women who can't. I didn't feel like I was a woman. I didn't feel like that mattered. Now I'm described as a person in a wheelchair. I remember a very good looking 18 year old football player, captain of his team, now sitting in a chair facing me saying, all my girlfriends from high school, everybody wants to be close to me and hug me and, and make me feel better. He says, but I can't let them sit on my lap because they'll feel my catheter and my leg bag and I, I won't allow that. How do we get him from that stage to the sexual person that he could be? Sometimes people come along and they say, oh, well, you know, you try some Viagra, that'll work. But if you get an erection, but you don't feel good about showing it, then you're not gonna use it. So you have to put it in a full context. Everybody is a sexual being, regardless of what they move or can't move or anything. You, know, you can't define yourself by your sexual organs when it's about a whole bunch of different other things, right? You gotta really drop a lot of walls within your mind and your, your heart, you know, to think about stuff like that. It's kind of, um, this is your body now. May not be the body you thought you were gonna have, but there's lots of good stuff. So let's focus on that, because you can grow that and live in your new normal. And for some people, not everybody, but for some people that new normal is a higher level sexuality than they had before which is really cool. For me, finding my sexuality is really trying hard and making an effort at my appearance. I designed a line of clothing because I had a really hard time finding clothing that fit me properly and that looked nice. Maybe we're not feeling it on the inside sexual, but sometimes if you can bring it out of yourself, I say like, for me, it's really sexy lingerie. Like, I love sexy lingerie. It makes me feel really feminine. It makes me feel great about myself. It doesn't matter, like, when it is. I could be at the park and wearing it and I still feel good, you know? Or putting on a little makeup or brushing your hair. Or even for some people, just having a shower and smelling good, you know? It's an important part of everybody's life, you know? Whether you're a man or a woman.